What's going on everybody? The weather finally broke down here in South Florida and it's gonna be a beautiful day. We're gonna head out on our flat boat behind us, do a little bit of fishing, some crabbing. Yeah, we're gonna try something a little bit new today, make it fun. We're gonna put a GoPro in the crab trap. Yeah, it's gonna be fun and cool. We've never done this before. Yeah, let's get right to it, Sizzle. Let's do it. All right, Darcy, so why don't you tell us what happened on the way wait, to the wait, ramp what today? what are we doing with these apples right here? Well, I'm gonna eat those apples. Right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I dropped a bucket over the side of the boat, a uh, truck, and uh, so a kind soul told me about it when we came to a stop and then ran back over there. There was like a couple items stolen out of the bucket, but like I got 90% <laughs> back, which I'm pretty happy about, but literally almost in the middle of the intersection and uh, running out there and then had other people come up and help me. So. Really nice to have people help me do that really fast in the middle of traffic, but let me add some anyhow, context. Let me add some I, context. Uh, I put it on the back of the truck in the wrong spot. Listen, she puts things in spots where. Listen, here's a lesson of the day. I've been telling her for ten years: put things when you put I something down, put it in the safe spot the first time. Great way to start the morning, but really, if that was ever going to happen, yeah, and we're not all perfect, so. We misplace things and put things in the wrong spot and this and that, but I haven't done that in a couple of years. I was due for it, I guess. The, the, the tip of the day, though, is the. But I'm lucky that it happened in broad daylight and not in the dark, and cars could run me over. Like, that's more dangerous. I guess so. There would be less cars on the road. Yeah. But anyway, when you put something down, particularly in a boat, put it down in a good spot the first time. Yeah. Not that you're going to put it down somewhere crappy and then move it. Like putting your phone on the hood of the car or something. Don't ever do that. Yeah. Did right. that. Good talk. Did that. That's a good le lesson from uh, Papa Pudding. Mm. Woo! Woo! Jeez. Feisty little Jack. All right. We are hooked up. Just getting lines out. I'm not even done. I got three of the four lines out, and this one just went off. Uh, yeah, we saw. And he's off. Oh, you messed up, dude. This drag is fine. All right. Anyway, so uh, water's moving it. right now in the current, and uh, trap gaps can wait. So we just had to do a little troll, catch a couple of fish. So let's see yeah. how it goes. Yep. Checking things out. Darcy already screwed up. There's a third time you screwed up today. Come on. You dropped your bucket. You forgot your gloves. I and did you not forget my gloves. They you were almost in, forgot your gloves. They were in the boat. All right, let's go. And Brian can't drive. Deshaun, let's not mess this up. Woo! Nice and slow. Feisty fish. Brian was telling me how hot it was going to be out here today, and we're complaining about how cold it is. We is mostly it, he is. Is that why you had a head in a bun? Yeah, exactly. I haven't had a chance to put it down. I knew he was going to say that. It will be in a bun for crabbing, but you're right. I should take it down now. Here he comes. Woo! Little crab bait. In the boat. Nice. Broke the skunk off. Sizzle, what happened to your pot? At least it wasn't cut off. You're looking awfully close to getting cut off. <laughs> Someone must have hit it with their boat. Yeah, with their prop. That's funny. All right, so caught no more fish, so <laughs> doing the crab traps. And uh, the first one got ran over by a boat. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's the first time that's ever happened, actually. All right, Dustin, so show me the crabs. Can't guarantee crabs. Crabs are guaranteed today. All right, so we're we have to remember to bring a buoy next time. We're gonna get at least a dozen crabs. Dozen crabs, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, well, oh my here. goodness, there are monsters in there, dude. Lots of crabs, more than two. Look at this. Oh my lordy Jesus. Dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Look, Whoa, he's, look, got, at that. look he's got food in his mouth. He's a piggy. And there's one with no claws right yeah. there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty Is good pull. Is that a record? Pull. Pretty good pull. That's not a record, but it's a lot. I think we got eight or nine up north. All right, I guess we're going to put the camera in this one since I don't think we've ever caught that many. Or it's very rare that we catch that many crabs in, this, in, a, in a trap. So this is more likely to catch more crabs on, on camera. So uh, let's do it. I'm using an old GoPro mine in case the crabs start playing with the GoPro. In a watertight case, of course. And uh, I'm going to use the rubber bands and just uh, put it in down here in the middle, I guess, somewhere. I have such big hands, it's a little hard. I think that's good. 
All right, so we're just gonna put the cup in there. We usually put carcasses in there too, but if I put carcasses in there, it's gonna block the camera. So hopefully this will work. All right, nice, drop it down nice and slow. All righty. Now we wait. All right, so we're gonna check all the traps and then we're gonna come back. Yeah. Nice. It'll definitely be a couple hours. Yeah. Don't know how long the battery will last, but we're yeah, whatever find out. it is, it is. We're gonna find out. Do it. Catch him up. See if he can beat seven. <laughs> Luckily, we have a few more traps to go. This one is covered in growth. There is a little fish and not a single crab. How wild is that? Literally, we just moved like. It smells terrible. What'd you put in 100 there? Hundred feet. Pig's feet are in here. Little baby lane, very dirty. Yeah. All right. All righty, let's fill it up. Let's go sizzle. Feels very empty. What? Jeez. How do you get all the crabs in one pot? Dude, empty. Look at the sense. All right, sizzle. If you don't catch a fish crab on this trap, then I suck. <laughs> the worst crabber. You're the terrible crabber. Holy cow. It'll be negative. How is this possible? Empty. Empty. Dude, empty. Well, there's weird. a little guy in there. Oh, she's full of eggs. Oh, great. Come quickly film. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to throw it out like it's on fire. Just let us well, look I at it for a second just go. so they know. I need to let her go. She just throws them out and you can't see them. There's no playing around with I know. You're gonna do an females with you're eggs. You're educating people. All right, so if the female, if an egg, a female with eggs, you have to put it in the water, back in the water immediately. Show them what the eggs look like in a calm fashion. <laughs> Watch out, I can't, can't see. I can see. All right, all right, see the eggs? All right, back in the water. Very nice. <laughs> uh, well, at least we got one, I guess. Yeah, the source of our frustration, of course, is that we caught seven crabs in one pot and no crabs in these three pots, and they're all within a couple hundred feet of each other. Yeah. But it's just weird. And they're all in like this flat. So it's like, why does that happen? So um, weird. Do you think there was, was there some sort of bait that you put in there different or something? They all have pig's feet. Yeah, they all have pig's feet. And every single one still has decaying pig's feet in the cup. So, I don't know, it's different. The water might be cleaner over there because it's more towards the right. inlet, but it's, it's, again, it's so close, it can't make that big of a difference. Catch some crabs. Freaking looks empty. You suck at fishing. Jesus. Unbelievable. Now that's unusual. All right, this one actually must have had crabs in here and I got out. They broke through the wood chew out. The wood chew out is awesome because if you, the trap ever becomes a ghost trap or you lose your buoy, lose your rope, somebody moves it, eventually that wood breaks out over time. And uh, for us, our wood chew outs in about three to four months, they're done, they're toast. So whatever's in there can get out. So in the long run, you know, nothing really gets lost in that trap, they'll be able to get out. All right, Darcy cut them all wrong, so I gotta saw off the end here. Don't blame me. I'm blaming you. This is another great use for your Smith's knife. See how soft that wood is. Untreated. Not soft the wood, it's how awesome this knife is. Yeah, but it's untreated. You're trying to sell wood or knives here, It's untreated pine wood, guys. Don't use what you're supposed to use. Yeah, don't put treated We've green wood in here like a moron. We've wood and also really thick wood, and you just, you don't do that. So I'm gonna be here for another 20 minutes. All right, I whittled it down and made it fit. <laughs> <laughs> I use Smith's products, knives, not and our chainsaws. Day. Not our day, but it worked, it worked. Now we just pray there's not another wood chew out broken because we're screwed. Yeah. All right, all new. All right, we took about a five mile trip to our urban pots, yacht pots by the Yacht Club. And we got some new pots, we got new spots here. We're gonna see how they do. Sizzle, are you gonna get that pot or are you gonna walk around? You're driving all weird. I am. Show ooh, me the crab. Ooh, ooh. Show me the crabs. Ooh. Oh my god, I see four. Dude! Dude, finally! Do you hear that? There's a ton of crabs in here. And a ton of growth. This is gross. That is weird. It's so weird that some pots have a ton of growth and some don't. Yeah, this is like ew. Alright. All right, all right, all right. Very exciting, very exciting. All right. This is why we have our pots like yes. separated by five miles. Yes. One area can suck and one can not. Nice, I'll take that's it. That's a nice one. There's really nice ones in there. And look, that's the purple crab that we talk about. That's a different species. Well, 
still a stone crab, but we don't know. We think that's a different subspecies because he's so purple. Yeah, look at the size of the claw on that thing compared to the body. Monster. That is ridiculous. All right, let's do it. Yes. Right. With regrows. Yeah? Yeah. That's a regrow. Beautiful. Look at the size of that claw. It's a large. Sweet. All right, let's break it off. I'll show them how you break it off. Yep. All right, guys, I'm not gonna get too much into this today because we've done this a thousand times, but you measure the claw. That one's obviously bigger, too big, or big, big. Big enough. And we're gonna take it off with okay. the knife. This is how we recommend you do it. Boom. Clean break. Knife method, not the twist method. Beauty. And they just have a little bit of crab blood that comes off and then that seals out. Nice. And then they, he's gonna live to see another day. Look at this. Look how purple that crab is. Yeah. So wild. Like he is purple and purple. And the difference too, like I'll show you from when we just broke off. Like you see the tip, the black tip, it goes all hold the way. On, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. You see the black tip right here? Right here, right here. Yeah, the standard stone crab has this shape hold that. always. More it's white. like halfway down go the black goes, but on these purpler crabs, it goes almost to the very end of the claw. Yeah. And so that just tells you it's a different subspecies, in my opinion. Right. I wish I knew more, but I don't. But like, they don't even have the dots that the normal stone crabs yeah, have. You not. see all the dots? This one has none. He's just straight purple. So cool. Do you have your necklace on? I don't. Oh. Terrible person. I do make <laughs> stone crab claws and necklaces out of these. Yeah. It's a renewable resource. And each one is unique to the crab, like a human fingerprint. So. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So like Darcy's mentioning, you can go on Darcy's website and she makes necklaces out of the crabs. We actually catch on the boat and uh, and you can buy one and for a gift for, we're well, not for Mr. a gift, but for yourself. They're pretty awesome. And let Mr. Purple go. See you later, Purple. He's a male. I'm gonna call him Purple Nurple. Come on, he can flip up. See you, Nurple. You can push Walk him the over. other way, walk the other way. Okay. Nice. That's a nice one. Nice. Oh, oh my God. Got my camera. Oh my God. Shoot. All okay, right, well, put him go. down. I'm going to take his claw off and he's going to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> there we it go. Open, wide open. <laughs> Perfect. All right, it's time to really crab. We got the bikini. Woohoo. To save the day. Let's get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Got to point that butt away from the camera. Nice. <laughs> Got like three, four? Really? Check it out. Let's check it out. Yes. We're having a feast. Nice. Little babies. Look at that monster. She's huge. That like the like the back on that one. Yeah, big body. The claws don't look too big, but. Lefty, you want to crush your claw. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah, okay, Keepers. we got like three or four claws out of that. That's awesome. We haven't looked at one of our best days ever. I don't know how many we would have all together. We got whoop, still got to go back to the other trap and uh, check, check the camera. Out. Yes. And then we're going to see. Jeez, Darcizzle. So that's the next thing to do. So we're I gonna... can't win. It's, uh, he's mad if I'm not in my bikini and he's mad if I am. I don't know why you got to point your butt right at the camera. Hey, I'm working. I'm just, I'm just sorry. I'm just working and you could just blur it. Things I complain about. Yep. I'm going to get demonetized. Gonna get demonetized. Got demonetized for my finger. Yes, that video got demonetized. Too gruesome. So gruesome. So much as open skin, which was not. It was just blisters. They don't even want you to see blisters. You got some day cruisers coming by the front of the boat here. I'm not going to film them because they're so close and they're not doing anything so bad. So what? They're coming close to watch us. No, they're not. They're going close because they live in one of these mansions. You think they, that boat docks over there? Negative. Yeah, they might. Never seen it in my life. What do you know about everything? I'm on the water a lot more than all these rich people in Palm Beach. <laughs> That's true, actually. All right, don't film. No filming. No. No filming. Ryan thinks this is so funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. This is how we're going to get a lot of videos from now on. Carry it around, video. no big I deal. Tell, I didn't even tell Darcy this, but I'm gonna make, we're going to make our next, next video is going to be about some woman on Facebook mess, direct message us, said, why, these are the exact words, why are you always half naked? No, she didn't. She did. Really? 
Let me tell you something. We are gonna make a video all about that. Yeah, this, even if she's in a full bikini, that's not half naked. That's what condescending, obnoxious people that are trying to minimize the women say to girls and wear bikinis when they're sad. No one, none of you, nobody goes to the beach, sees a girl in a bikini, or on a boat and goes- Oh, she's half naked. Oh, she's half naked. I'm not half naked, I'm wearing a bathing suit, which is a perfectly acceptable, normal thing to do. Yeah. It's not half naked, that's obnoxious. But you know what? People say Taylor Swift is half naked at her Eras tour, so. It's the same exact situation. You can't win. There's people obnoxious as you well. You can't win. Literally, she's not half naked. No, and she's then- She's wearing an outfit. And we're gonna expand I can't on show this. my legs. We're gonna expound on this quite a bit because it's getting ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And and the reason that she's always half naked is because that is what these pervs look at. I, I will in the video we do this about, I will show you how many of her thumbnails and how many Facebook posts or whatever posts you want to see are always half naked. It's it's like None. the percentage that she's in a bikini is 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 a, is not a majority. No, and especially a minority. Especially this time of year, honestly. Especially this time of year, and you know we're, we're going to get into it. We're definitely going to get into it. That's I like be, it. I like it. That's, that's the good title of the video. That's a great idea. Be why I'm always half naked. So watch for that. Watch for that. Watch it, and uh, we'll get demonetized, but that's okay. No, you won't get demonetized because with that title, yes, we would. Why am I always half naked? Yeah. Moron. That is the only picture you're looking at. That's why you think she's only half naked. Why don't you go look at the uh, Monday brag board on Facebook and you see that, if, then you can say always she posts uh, pictures of uh, kids and women catching fish. Like, how can we not get that comment? Because you're a perv. You think, you, the woman's a, you think the woman's a perv? I don't know. Well, she thinks you always are half naked. Oh, yes, right. I, I don't know why else she only looking That's at those pictures. Women can be pervs. Why is she only seeing those pictures? That's what they only pay attention to. Exactly. Right. And if it's a girl, let me tell you what men do. I'm just warming up for the next video. He's getting on a rant. I, here's what they do. Men, tell me when, okay? Yeah. Okay. Again, it's, of course, not, as everything else, it's not all men. But there's too many of you. First, when you see a woman, the first thing you do is seek to objectify that woman. Mm -hmm. Okay? If she's ugly, you just, or you don't think she's attractive, you just move on. Yep. She could be the most famous race car driver in the world. She could be a tennis star. You, you just move on. If she's good looking, then you stop. And you look, and for, then you assume she can't do whatever she's doing. You assume it's fake, or she can't do it. Yep. And then, if you watch her for ten years, or a year, or whatever, and you happen to keep up with it, like many, many, many people have said to Darcy, many. Oh, I just thought you were an attractive woman. I didn't know you could actually fish. So that's what happens. That men first instinct. Um, too many men. It's not all men. A lot of men. Too many. Way too many. They seek to object. They objectify first, and then they make a decision if they're going to watch longer. If they watch long enough to find out you can all, any woman. No, the comment is, first I watch for the bikini, but now I watch for the fishing. Or yeah. something like that. Right. Which is fine. I don't care why you're watching, just as long as you're watching. But if you're, if you're that, but again, you know, you're just a coward saying that. You know, no one comes up to us at the ramp and says, oh. Never. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, they never do. No. That's just something you say on your keyboard. Yeah. Anyway, good talk. I'm not, let's, we're going to stay with the rest of the video. I like it. I was gonna bring it up today. Relatable. We came up, I was gonna bring it up today, so today, but then we, we came up. We should have. Oh, no, the no, trap. We're doing the camera. We're doing this. We're gonna go see how the camera went. Camera and the trap. Yeah. On to the camera and the trap. Go. Go ahead. They're not gonna see it this time. <laughs> They're not gonna see it this time. You see? Nice job. Ta-da. All right, doing this trap over again. We want the camera in it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the first one. Now, of course, we're gonna see the crabs in there. Hopefully, there are. And uh, it's been like five. It's been a long time. It's been quite a bit. It's been like five hours. At least. Because he's been fooling around and doing whatever. Yeah. Maybe four. Whatever. It's been a long time. So it should be. Maybe I expect there to be crabs in there, but we're gonna wait till we get home and see the footage. Here, Correct. Show you. Well, if there's crabs in there, hopefully they didn't get out. Or if they were too small, they would have gone through the escape ring. Hopefully, my camera's not eaten. We're gonna bring buoys and wood chew outs next time. Yeah, and a saw. And a saw. <laughs> All right. The camera's definitely off. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We had, I think we're going to cut them up when we get back and show you the footage. But, yeah. Uh, we did great I today. I think we got a ton of crabs. We did great today. 
Back at the house, guys, final count, 19 keeper crab claws, which is pretty epic for our home waters. We are happy with 12, so 19 is a score. Um, and then a little bit about the uh, underwater GoPro filming in the traps is <laughs> the battery dies way too quick on the GoPro for even crabs to get in there. Yeah. And uh, I'll let Brian get into that. Since I'm bit. the videographer yes, around exactly. here. Yes, exactly, he is. Yeah, you know, you know I, I guess this might not be the best application in the future, but the, but the crabs, you know, I guess they take a long time to get in there, but, and they don't get in there, at least in this case, before the battery died. So maybe like blue claw crabs, they go really fast. So maybe we'll try this with blue claw yeah. crabs when we do that. But anyway, so no crabs really got in there, but then went another day crabbing. This video was like a week ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I threw, the, I threw the, the GoPro in there with some actual crabs, hoping they they'd caught. run around and move. And, uh, and you can see they, you know, you can see crabs and I sped it up. So it looks like they're moving a little bit. <laughs> but we discovered but they're lazy. They're, they're, they're they don't lazy. really move during the day. Like yeah. so, I think that that stone crabs are definitely more active at, at night. night. That's my right. opinion, That's... especially after fronts and stuff. Yeah. But during the day, they just literally sit there. Yeah. So we get some pretty good footage, and you know, that I mean, that's how you learn about you know the animals and True. the fish you're trying to catch. If you ask Behavior. any, yeah, if you ask any diver, you know, a lot of divers become great fishermen because they know what's going on down there. So right. maybe we learned a little bit about crabs. Yeah. And uh, if you like this kind of content, you know, the GoPro. Oh, you see the fish coming in and out. Yeah, I, I think I got the fish, yeah. And, uh, but if you like this kind of content, you know, it's kind of a popular fad or thing on YouTube right now, putting cameras underwater and stuff. You know, we can do it offshore more or like inshore sure. or under docks and bridges. And so uh, comment below, see what you think. Yeah. So we had fun. Yeah, let us know if you like this kind of style of content. And uh, thanks for watching. Until our next adventure, follow Bye your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs>